welcome to Crafting by the Falls. My name is Natalie and I would like to say thank you for coming and spending your time with me. I truly appreciate it. So today I'm going to continue um, a Joy Sunday series of stamped cross stitch and I did two other videos for it. This series has nine kits and I already reviewed four. I'm going to do another two today. So if you're new to my channel and you didn't see, I did a review on the Winter Raccoon and Winter Fox. That was one video. I will be linking it up at the end of this video if you'd like to go and see it. And then the other video I did was of Winter Martise and Winter Penguin. So I've already done the review for those four. Um, and I there's five more remaining. And I have them. So I'm going to pause the camera here and uh, put it into position and I will do two today and you want to come back next week I'm gonna do two more next week okay I'll pause here and we'll start this review there is the five kits remaining so I will set these ones aside and we'll start with this one if you're new to cross stitching, this is stamped cross stitch. They do have uh, the instructions all on the back of these envelopes on how to um, cross stitch. So, um, so here we go. So we have a winter chipmunk. I'll take him out of the envelope. Ooh. Oh, that one. So there we go. Here's a close-up of them. Um, the kit is DA781 Winter Chipmunk. This is a 14 count. And with 14 count, you work with two strands. And the measurements are 21 by 29 centimeters. Isn't he adorable? I love chipmunks. They're so cute. We'll start with the chart. So it is one page. We have a total of 23 colors. We have two half stitch and we have four back stitch colors. The measurements of it is 91 wide by 119 high. And here we go with the chart. So this is always great to go back and reference if you have any hesitation about any of the stitches. But as you can see, I will do a close up you will need this to do your back stitch. And there is lots of back stitch to it. But that is what gives you the definition of the chipmunk. And you can see that in the picture. So I'll set that to the side and we'll look at the canvas. It is very small, as you can see. Um, like I say, it is a 21 by 29 centimeter or 91 wide by 119 high. All the edges are serge. And it does look like the print on the canvas is really nice. And you can read it. And here are our symbols down below 
for this is the full stitch and here are our half stitch right here and then our four back stitch so let's look at the colors of threads so again there's 23 we'll start here at one and there is our standard uh two needles and um yeah we have a lot of browns and as you can tell number 11 is pretty thick that is all the back color and there is 16 to 23. I, I think these, um, he's going to turn out so cute. So that is the review of the chipmunk. I'll pause the camera here. Actually, no, I will show you the color of the <laughs> thread for this kit. And you can see. So really... It's going to be nice. So I will pause the camera here and we'll start the next review. So here is our second kit. And it is Winter Squirrel. I just think these animals are so adorable in their, their sweaters. So there we go. This is Winter Squirrel and it is DA785. Again, it is a 14 count using two strands and it is 21 by 29 centimeters. And if you noticed, all these are fairly close in size, which is nice so that if you to do the whole series, the pictures will all be about the same. So we will start right here. So Winter Squirrel has 26 colors. We have four half stitch and we now have six back stitch colors. This is a 90 by 121 high and as you can see there's just a little bit of the chart but if we turn it over there is the rest so for people that love color blocking tons <laughs> for people that love back stitching there's tons but again the backstitch just does the definition of the piece that you're doing and the fur, you know, his bag, his hand. So I'll put that to the side. We'll look at the canvas. And like I mentioned, it is 90 wide by 121 high. The edges, as you can see, are all surged around. And there is the symbols for all the full stitch. We also have our four half stitches and our six back stitch colors. But you can see that the printing of the canvas is really nice i don't think there would be any confusion on any of the symbols and we'll take a look at the colors now we have different floss cards so there's one Look at those greens, really nice. I 
Look at that pink. And here is the remaining So, I will just put this so you can see the colors. Oh, those greens are so nice. So there. So, I hope you enjoyed the review today of the squirrel. And I'll put the chipmunk here. If you liked what you've seen, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It always lets me know that you're enjoying the content. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed and you want to come back and see the remaining animals to the series, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Next time I post a video, you will be notified. And again, I will be linking up the two prior videos to the winter animal series. Thank you once again and have a good day. Take care. Bye for now.